blessings in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Um, this day I come to you with Jesus centered, you know, the, the revelations or whatever message it is has Jesus in the middle. It is Jesus centered. Hallelujah. You know, the birth of Jesus Christ in itself is a miracle. But you realize the Bible recognizes when he turned water into wine as the uh, first miracle Jesus performed. Amen. And today I believe God has a revelation. You know, three distinctive lessons that God wants us to take from that um, story. Hallelujah. You know, I want you to turn your Bibles to John, the book of John chapter 2. The book of John chapter 2. Amen. When you read verse 1, the Bible says there was a wedding and Jesus, Jesus' mother was there. You know, so the verse 1 makes you understand that there was a wedding and the mother of Jesus was there. And the verse 2 is where I want us to put an emphatic stress on. You know, the Bible says, and Jesus and his disciples were also invited. Verse 2 again. It said, and Jesus and his disciples were also invited. Hallelujah. You know, if you have your Bibles, you can please read further. But you realize that before, before Jesus would turn water into wine, before that um, seemingly disgrace would happen, before that situation would happen, the Bible says, Jesus and his disciples were invited. Hallelujah. Beloved, how does this apply to you and I? You know, you don't wait for any calamity to come to you. You don't wait for a problem to come your way. For whatever you are doing in life, in all your endeavors, in your choices and your decisions, make sure that Jesus and his disciples are invited. Who are the disciples of Jesus? The, the, the pastors, the bishop, the, you know, the, the ministers that he surrounded you with. Hallelujah. Now, you realize the Bible says, when you refer, the Bible says, Mary told Jesus that these guys are out of wine. And Jesus made a statement. So th that will be our second lesson. Jesus said, it is not yet my time. Beloved, I don't know what you might be going through. I don't know what you might be praying about. But like Jesus, he said, it is not yet my time. You know, if, if, if you are confident that you invited Jesus into your situation, just, 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 just keep calm. Because in his time, he will make all things beautiful for you. Hallelujah. So the first revelation is that before anything will happen, you know, this is a banquet that they, they had invited the, the governor, like a president. You know, so it means... It was a wedding of a rich people, a rich couple, you know, but so they had no intent that they would be out of wine. But because they had invited Jesus ahead of time, you know, Jesus was there to intervene. Hallelujah. So in, in, in whatever you do in life, make sure that if you've invited Jesus ahead of your time, Jesus ahead of your choices and your decisions. Hallelujah. And the second lesson is that, you know, Jesus told Mary that my time has not yet come. So it means Jesus has a time for you and I. Hallelujah. He has a time that he will perform. You know, though it might tarry, but he has his own time. Hallelujah. And the third lesson or revelation that I want us to hear, I mean to listen here, is that the um, Bible says, Jesus' mother, Mary, told the guys that I should follow him. He said, whatever he tells you to do, make sure you do it. You know, you know this, this is a man who is able to do something for you and the question is why is Mary instructing them or warning them that whatever it means sometimes some of the directives of God might, 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 might seem crazy to, to, to human understanding but beloved if God spoke it if God gave it that direction make sure you follow it he said for whatever he tells you to do do it it is a spirit of obedience hallelujah so number one Jesus must be invited in your situation before any problem comes. When you do that, before the problems will come, Jesus will go ahead of you and intervene. Bible says many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord will deliver them because the righteous always I mean, invite Jesus in their situations. And number two, like I said, um, Jesus has a time that he will perform for you. Hallelujah. So this lesson was taken from the book of John chapter 2, verse 2. Bible says before, before the, 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 the couple will be out of wine, before the wedding will short wine, Jesus and his disciples were invited. I bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. And I pray in Jesus' name that this will be a lesson. This will bring transformation to your life. 
in Jesus' mighty name. Remember, this is Jesus-centered. Amen.